Hello, 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 hello. This is Leila Veronica, and today is Social Media uh, Strategy Saturday. <laughs> and I've never done something like this before. However, with the current needs of uh, this community and of the world that you serve, I really feel like this is the best I could do for you. It's like, what do you need? How can I help? Here I am. So I want to go through. Um, if you haven't yet, if you're just joining us, welcome. I appreciate you so much. Um, and if you're going to watch this later, feel free to, in the comments, message, whatever, just let us know how you need help. Um, number one, I want you to think about, and you can put it in the chat if you want and share, no pressure, is are you making a pivot in your business right now? Are you pivoting your offer, what you're selling, anything to serve your audience based upon what they need right now? People are having a little bit of a hard time of knowing what's about to happen. And so what if you could just focus on right now, what do they most need right now and how can you help? And so that's number one, pay attention, do your market research, figure out what do your people need and how can you help it so we can get to market faster. Really, that's what this is. Let's get you to market faster, okay? Uh, number two is, uh, you know, what is your goal? Because I'm going, to, I'm going to cover some social media stuff and then I'm going to bring you guys out. We're going to workshop, really help you guys with strategy for your own business. But what I do know is that many times entrepreneurs want to do all the things without focusing on what is the real goal. And if the real goal is just to get like two clients, two high-end clients, or maybe 10 clients or whatever your goal is, let's just focus on that and then create a strategy that's focused on that only, like just for now. We don't have to do the huge, big strategy for the next year. Right now, what do you want to happen in the next week or month? Little strategy, some action steps to get that done. So as an entrepreneur, decide what do I want to make happen and what, am I, what do I need to do to make it happen? And social media might be part of it. So let's talk about it, okay? Uh, the first thing I'm going to say is you need to be more um, driven right now by service than making money. You may be broke. You may be scared. I love you. I understand. I've been there. We've all been there in some level in our life. You may be there right now. And so I just want to honor that and say, feel your feelings, take really good care of yourself, extra good care of yourself right now. And uh, reach out for help. And let's figure out a way to get you some, get you what you need. That's why we're here today. That's why you're in this group. Um, but right now, if you're going to make money, you need to be service-based. You need to, you know, when you have the energy uh, and the heart for it, serve others without any attachment to whether you get any money. You will. You'll get something. You'll get just what you need if you show up and help. This is what I believe. You know, give and you will receive. Um, so I'm here today. Some of you guys might buy stuff from me. Some of you may not. Maybe nobody does whatever. I'm not attached to an outcome. I'm here to serve. So I'm going to speak so, so strongly about service today, even when I talk about social media. If I'm talking fast, I just want to get to the workshop part is why. I'm going to run through some things. You can watch the video later and pause it if, if you don't catch it all, okay? So number one, like I said, is get really clear on what you're offering so that your social media marketing is in direct alignment with what you're offering. If you're pivoting your offer, your marketing needs to pivot a little bit. Uh, listen to your audience, do your research, ask them what, what they need help with. Like I was on the call this week and I had people worried about social media and it makes sense. I was like, oh crap, it makes sense. I can totally help, so I'm gonna help. Um, be ready to sell. So. Uh, you know, if you're not still comfortable selling your stuff, it's going to be even harder right now to sell your stuff. You need to get comfortable selling your stuff. If you want to get free stuff away, fine. I'm giving all sorts of free stuff away, more than I ever have before. And at the same time, I'm still making more in all three of my revenue streams than I ever have because I'm still selling. So as a business owner, be the example, be the leader, be the change and, and offer and sell and make the money. Now, just stay in the flow. I'm not saying you have to make a bajillion dollars right now. Stay in the flow. Stay in the flow. Don't give up. This is not a time to give up. This is a time as an American or wherever you're from to be creative. An entrepreneur is a creator. 
So that's what I'm going to say. Use this time to be really like super duper creative and sell. Um, okay. So with social media marketing, my number one tip is this, write this down. I must show up consistently despite what's going on in the world. I must show up consistently no matter what's going, what's going on in the world. Why? Somebody needs you. According to Facebook stats, and this is a, a little bit older, maybe two years old, so it could be even less, but 70% of people never like, comment, or share. So all these people liking, commenting, and sharing your stuff, that's a really small percentage of who actually sees your stuff. Now, even a small percentage of all your friends see your stuff, but even those people that see it never touch it. So if you show up consistently, when they're ready, you're their person. I have no problem getting clients. I have no problem uh, you know, creating revenue now from social media because I'm just on there. I used to say, I'm like, I'm in your face every single day. <laughs> so that's what you want to be. Now, I know the other day, um, there was some worry about this like sea of distraction right now. Everybody's on social media, right? So I have a challenge to everybody here in Achieve. Whoever's going to use social media as a marketing, do not show up scrambling. Get really present. Breathe. Be in your body. You know, Vanessa teaches Victory Factory. Uh, it's about your presence first. So you'll stand out just by that first. Whew, chill out, breathe, relax, okay? Now show up consistently. That's the other piece. Keep going, show up, keep going, show up. If you don't feel like it, if you're down and out, do a post. Find somebody else's stuff and share it as inspiration. Ask somebody else, I don't have any ideas, I need help. What should I post? Right? Okay. So the other piece, now this is key. So these are the pieces where I'm really going to say write this stuff down. Um, the other stuff is sort of like the inner game. And now I'm going to tell you the outer game of what to do. Teach people stuff. Very practical stuff. So I'm teaching you something practical today. They are home. They are bored. Do not talk about your ideas and your contemplative things right now. If you want to, fine. But right now, it's not about telling people that they need to, you know, think about the way they've been the past decade. No. Tell them to clean their feet with almond oil or whatever your thing is like teach people really practical stuff now here's the deal title your videos okay and here are the best ways to title your videos how to da -da 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 -da, how to wash your feet right how to uh, take a funny picture with toilet paper like <laughs> like karen <laughs> right how to have fun at home despite uncertainties right how to that's the first the second is the number one thing. So you say, the number one thing you need to know too, blah, 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 blah. The number one thing, blah, 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 blah. And this is, you know, this is your opinion, or maybe it's not, it just depends. But still, it's like a pretty strong um, uh, statement. You're standing what you believe in. And ideally, it's practical right now. Like the number one thing you need to do if you run out of toilet paper. <laughs> the number one thing you need to do if you can't get to your massage therapist, I think that would be great for this group for the number one thing you can't uh, to do if you can't get to your people who you usually go to. Okay. And then um, the three things. So the word things really actually works for, for the human brain. There's been uh, market research and psychology, you know, and they look at it and the word things we actually resonate with. Um, and so you could put the three things or the three steps, um, or it could be the five steps or the seven steps. You know, I have a seven step sales system, right? Like all these, I create everything in systems. That's the way I work. It's easy for you to learn if it's in a system. So uh, teach people things that are practical. Number one things, teach them the, the top three things or the stepwise process of how to get from A to B. I think I saw Johanna did a video on how to make kitchery uh, recently. I think it was yesterday maybe. And so you can like teach people really practical stuff right now. That's what I would do, number one. So, um, oh, one more type of post is um, the biggest myth or mistake. The biggest mistake you could make at home 
is cleaning your house with ammonia and bleach at the same time or whatever the thing is that makes people, you know, it makes like people sick. I forget what it is. You guys probably know. But don't do that. I don't have any chemical crap in my house. Um, but if you have chemicals in your house, don't mix them in a certain way right now when you're all inside. <laughs> right? So there's the big mistakes, the myths. We cannot stand to make mistakes as humans. So if you have a mistake video, they're going to be like, oh my God, what is it? I don't want to do it. Okay. Uh, okay. So that's the first piece is teach people stuff. So these are different kinds of content you're doing. Number one, teach people. How? I just gave you a list of like titles and what to do. Um, number two is lifestyle videos. People will want to work with you, buy from you, connect with you, follow you, refer you. Um, if you are expressing something about yourself that's like a lifestyle thing that they resonate with. So today, actually this morning, I was on a um, call with, you know, over, it was like maybe 75, I think there were 75 to 100 people on the call at 9 a.m. this morning, Mountain. And um, one of the pieces of advice that they asked me to give was, how do you stay so present in your body and calm and meditate and all of that? So I gave them some tips, right? So that's a lifestyle. As part of my business, I do teach that and integrate the body stuff. But we were on a business call and they were asking me lifestyle stuff because I'm showing that in my social media. So if you like cars, if you have kids uh, and you like to paint or cook or um, play with your dog, like people know my cat a lot because my cat, I'm surprised my cat's not on here. Yeah. My cat um, loves to be on the videos. And so I live in Colorado. I, you know, uh, you know, I've been doing things with beauty, in my, working on my beauty uh, lately. Things that I share about my lifestyle. You want that for yourself. So how do you do that? Make a list of five things that really interest you that have nothing to do with your business. Let me step back. Not nothing. <laughs> They're peripheral. They could be like I do, um, I'm doing health and well, you know, beauty stuff. And that's actually related to my business on some level. So it could be related, but it's not like I don't sell beauty products. I might have a referral. I might have another company that I refer people to or companies, several affiliates, but I, it's not part of my particular thing that I do. Lifestyle. So number one, teach people practical things that will help them right now. Number two, create a lifestyle brand. You don't need colors. You don't need brand, uh, logo right now. You need to be authentically you and show up. Ideally, you're showing things that are fun and interesting and not boring, right? Um, but, uh, you know, some of you, I think you think you're more boring than you are. You're actually really interesting. <laughs> so if you need help, you're like, well, what is my lifestyle? Well, should I show this? Should I show that? Just ask. Let's, let's, let's support you and find out. Like, what is it that would be interesting that you would love to share consistently? Uh, that would be easy. Um, that would be fun. And the reason is you don't want to do all business posts because it's, it's social media, not business media, right? So you want to be social. So that's the social piece. I love Karen's recent stuff with her red polka dot pants and the toilet paper. <laughs> it's just hilarious. Like you guys are having so much fun at home right now, right? And we're like, oh my gosh, what are they doing? What are they doing at home? How do they have so much fun? So that's part of lifestyle marketing. That's what you want to do on social media too. Lifestyle marketing, teach people stuff. And the third and last is be a conversation starter. On social media marketing, you want to be a professional conversation starter. Why? You don't want to have to do all the work. <laughs> it's a lot. And I know many of you have a lot of things to do. So I might put a post up. Um, I, I'll block my time out with social media, so I'm not always on it. Put a post up, go do work, serve clients for a day and do all my stuff, go back later. And there could be 50 comments if it's a really good post. There could be 100, maybe two. It doesn't matter. There's things going on on my wall. Facebook loves when other people are participating on your stuff, right? And so you can have marketing going on for you, basically, when you're not even there. You can come back to it, tap in, comment, share, you know, all the things. And I'll talk about how to make money here in a second. But if you really hone in on doing um, engagement posts that are 
about starting a conversation. And if you look at my page or some other people's pages that know social media, look at some of the ones that they're doing. You can go on mine. Some have like 200 comments. It's wild. Everybody's home right now. They're like, everybody's got an opinion. They want to chime in or they want to cheer you on or they want to, you know, share their experiences. And so be a professional conversation starter. That's the third piece. Teacher, lifestyle brand, and professional conversation starter. Now, one more piece here, uh, a couple more things, just little, little things. Your call to action, I highly recommend, um, unless you're selling something where there's a link and all that and you already got it, you know it's going to work, get people in Messenger. Say, hey, if you, if you want to know more, send me a little message. All my videos, I go, send me a little message. If you're having problems, send me a little message. If you want to change this in your life, send me a little message. The money is in the messenger. It's not on your post on your wall or in a group and da, 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 or in a link you post even. It's in the personal relationship you create through Facebook's other app called Messenger. So it's actually a separate app. They love when you play on their multiple games. We're gonna talk about it in a second. They love when you play different places. So please friends, if you're not playing in Messenger, that's where you need to be right now. You need to be in Messenger talking to people. And if you're not sure what to say, here's what you say right now, it's perfect. You go, hi, how are you? Or how are you doing right now with everything going on? That's what I've been saying. How are you doing, hi. How are you doing with everything going on right now? There could not be a better time to do cold marketing or warm marketing or hot marketing, any of the marketing, because everybody wants to share how they're doing. Some people say fine, some people won't respond, but some people you'll build a relationship with. And maybe, just maybe, they'll be your client. They'll be a, a referral partner. They'll get you on a podcast. They'll get you something and you can get them something. And what I believe is that this is the path for every single one of us here to create um, the new way forward, the new wealth forward um, through social media. If you choose to put, take part in social media, it's you've got to create these relationships in Messenger where you feel closer to people and that's when they're going to want to buy and, and um, utilize you as a resource. A uh, couple little tips. Right now, focus on putting all your content wherever the most eyeballs are. If you have the most eyeballs on Facebook or Instagram or LinkedIn or YouTube, wherever your people's eyeballs are, email, get your stuff in front of the most eyeballs right now. If you don't have 5,000 Facebook friends, Facebook gives you 5,000 slots. I like to think about it. 5,000 slots to put your friends in. And so why not right now spend some time, you know, find some friends of friends who have a lot of friends in common, who you you know, highly respect and um, fill up your friend space right now. It's perfect time. Just click, 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 you know, you know, maybe get 20, 30, 40. I actually had a gal do this. She made 200 friends in a day. 200. Yeah. Talk about leads. And the thing is, those are all leads right now because we're in a market where everybody's on social media. Everybody wants to talk and you can say, Hey, how you doing with everything that's going on right now? Thanks for connecting. So it's not like, hey, how are you doing? Send my link. It's how are you? Like literally care. Don't have a plan in your head and your back of your head to send them something and sell them something. How are you? See what they say. See what they say. Maybe they need you, maybe they don't, right? That, oh, and one more piece is I highly recommend video. If you don't know how to do video yet, I've got trainings on that and all that. But if you don't know how to do video, that's what I would be. And I know there's a lot of people doing video. Okay, I get that. There's a reason though, it works. And Facebook loves when you do video. They push you up, you know, there's a reason why you guys see my stuff so much. Partly because I post a lot, but partly the way that I do it gets engagement and I do video, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I am going to uh, look through here what you guys put and I'm gonna see if there's any questions and I'm just gonna bring everybody out. And I see a hand raised. Um, so I'm just gonna tell you guys what, uh, okay, so we've got some pivots in terms of doing online offers, right? Versus offline flash sales. 
content yeah more stuff on the phone or not picking up the phone doing social media yeah social media social media okay intuitive coaching free stuff paid stuff um message boards a little overwhelmed what steps to take okay okay uh when you say video do you mean facebook live great question connie i recommend facebook live um, I really, I'm going to say as a leader, I recommend it because it asks you to show up in a whole new way. It's not even just about live video versus recorded video. I, re I highly recommend doing live video. I would love if every single one of you on here did live videos like 45 minutes a day, 20 minutes a day, hour a day, like use that as like a meeting. Like every day, chunk it and be like, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to do a video and I'm going to sit there and I'm going to talk about something. I'm going to ha have conversations. The longer you are on, the longer people are going to be on there um, and, and just hang out with you. Like if you're on a live video and they pop on, I want to hear in the chat, how many of you guys have popped on a live video and somebody's been like, hey, Lisa, hey, Ma hey, Connie, hey, Monica, hey, friend. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh, shit. I don't want to hop off because she's going to know I'm off <laughs> or I'm going to, I'm going to keep it on while she's talking and keep listening live while I cook my dinner. Right. That, that's the kind of stuff that happens. That doesn't always happen when you record a video and pop it up. So there's this interesting connection when you're doing it live. It's versus, I really love it because it can be two way communication live videos versus one way, whereas I recorded, I send it out, here you go. I've, you know, you might re respond back and then I'll respond back, but there's not like this in the moment, you know, uh, experience like we are having right now. You said, what about live video? I get to answer right now. So that's my, that's my perspective. Facebook will love it. You'll get promoted higher up on people, uh, people's thread through their algorithm. And I have a Facebook live course. I have even some free, some free video out. I've sent a bunch of people recently. Learn how, get some, a little bit of like tips and tools and know what you're doing a little bit. And then just do it. And, and it's like anything. It's like if you're working out, you've got to do sales. You got to build the sales muscle, right? If you're doing Facebook live, you got to build the Facebook live muscle, right? Like I sucked. If you guys would have seen my first videos, horrible. Like I'm such a professor. Um, like Bueller. Oh my God. It was so boring, but I got better. And, and I used to talk really fast and kind of go ring around the rosy and not make sense. And I don't do that as much now. I'm like step one, step two, step three, right? You guys, there's a, I have prepared. <laughs> I follow my instructions basically. Um, so let's, and then business or personal page for the videos, Connie, what I would say is typically I would say personal, unless you have a bunch of people on your business page and they follow you consistently and they were always there. What I find is a lot of people don't want to show up on a personal because they're scared of what people are going to think about them um, sometimes, or they might think it needs to be business, right? Cause it's a business, which makes sense. But right now, wherever your eyeballs are is where you need to show up. And I don't even think you need to do much on the business. Maybe a little bit you can once a week do some stuff, but really personal right now is where you're going to be seen more. Um, one and two, I don't think anybody needs to be doing just business right now. Anyways, they need to be doing business. They need to be doing lifestyle, right? And they need to be doing conversation starting. And that's really going to happen more on your typically on your personal page. Cause Facebook does not show the business page as much because it's social media, not business media. And one more piece. And I just have to bring this forward the, uh, with the political cam cam campaign coming up. You may have noticed that they are going, they are doing ads now. And so the business page stuff is going to be shown more from politics stuff soon, more and more and more they're saying. So I don't know that we can compete with that. I think we need to stay as a nano influencer, build your 5,000 people, nurture them like never before. Take care of your people right now, friends. Like they're people you're connected with, their souls, they're there for a reason. So as a leader, show up really in service right now. Um, and I just have a couple notes, you know, around leading in crisis that I was just on a call this morning. I thought they'd be useful for you. Get rid of negative news. 
if you are listening to negative people in your life or negative news, you're going to bring it forward on your social media. It, it just will. And people will feel it. Even if you don't write anything, they'll feel it. So just don't do it. Stay away from the negativity. Um, expect social media to work for you. People are like, it doesn't work. No, you didn't know how to do it. You didn't figure it out. You didn't ask for help. You didn't refine your process. It will work. I promise you. Get good at it. Learn how. That's basically like anything. Like if you're going to learn how to throw a baseball, practice. Throw a freaking baseball for the next five years until you get really good at it. <laughs> you know, do the social media. Accept the reality of where we are uh, because we're in a, a little wonky times. Um, you may need to make shifts in your business or you may need to stay the course even stronger than you have been. Whatever it is, accept the current reality as it is. Okay. It just is. It is what it is, you know, and then create a plan. I can help you with that. People in Achieve can help you with that. Lots of people are willing right now to show up and help. Create a plan and execute. Take action. Okay. So let's see what other questions we have. And then I'll bring out some people live to ask questions. Oh, um, what percentage do you su suggest Facebook post cover? Lifestyle, what I would say is 80-20. Great question, Lisa about 20% business and then about 80% conversation starting lifestyle brand. Lisa is actually a person, perfect person to talk about probably about lifestyle brand too, because she does like photography. Um, and what a beautiful time to learn how to take better photos. So you don't have to necessarily like even go up on a video if you know how to take a really good photo or, you know, put it up and then have a nice post. Um, so, you know, teach, Teach people stuff around businesses, stuff that's related to your business about 20% of the time and then 80% the rest. And yes, yes, we got me. Boom. Love it. Um, Ari said, with the new live producer, it is hard to see who is on the video. Any suggestions? That's a great point, Ari. I'm not fond of it either. I'm going to be honest. What I do is I use Zoom right now. It's, I, ref, I like it better. I don't like the new Facebook live producer thing. Um, or I go Facebook live from my cell phone. Um, I don't have the, the live producers on my laptop. If this doesn't make sense to anybody, I'll just step back. Facebook came out with this new thing. Right now it's just on my laptop. It's called live producer when you go live and it's uh, not that user friendly. It doesn't feel, and it feels like Ari feels the same way. So if you're playing with it and you're like, what? It's hard to see comments and stuff. It's just because of Facebook live just did this new thing that doesn't make sense. <laughs> They do that stuff, whatever. So what you do instead, you either get Zoom and link it to the Facebook or you know, maybe set up your cell phone if it doesn't have it on there. That's what I would do. Best time of the day for the live, does it matter? Lisa, that's a great question. What I would say on one level, it doesn't right now, especially because so many people are home. Um, what, what, it, what I've noticed, and I, and, and I haven't looked at the stats for a long time, so I can't say, Generally speaking, you're going to get more people on live in the evening. So if you have people all over Pacific to uh, East Coast, um, you may do like a 6 p.m. mountain. So you get like 5, 6, 7, 8 p.m. That's the time period when people are at home and like after dinner and they're kind of chilling. Nothing on the TV maybe is interesting or they're not playing games with the friends and family and they're just on their phone, you know, everybody's on their phone. And so they're just there. So the nighttime stuff um, usually is pretty popular. You won't see me do lives very often at night because I'm a morning girl. And so what I also recommend is if you're a morning person like me, I, this is my favorite ways. I do, I like to do the live as early in the day as possible. And then that day is like utilized for people commenting and I can go back later and then, you know, work the, work the thread a little bit, make comments and respond and message people and whatnot. And so I, I, I used to do a, a 6 a.m. mountain call for about um, months and months and months. I don't remember how long. It doesn't matter. Months and months and months, I did a 6 a.m. call. So it was like a 6 a.m. call, or excuse me, a 6 a.m. Facebook Live. And then that whole day, that video got attention and people commenting. So that's another way to do it. What else we'll say is you can create a Facebook event and, and like you like market your Facebook live. So you're like, I'm going to do a Facebook live on Wednesday, hump day Wednesdays or mindful Mondays or fabulous Fridays. And, you know, and 
you create a Facebook live event and then you invite all your friends. You say, I'm going to go live on my page, you know, on my personal page this day. So you create even more hype around it. If you want to right now, you create a Facebook live around your live or Facebook event around your live. If you have an email list, email your list that you're going to be going live, email them 15 minutes before you go live and then email them the link to the live video. Once you're done. I don't always do this. I often will link the, like when I, when I think I've done a really, really good video, like this one, I'll probably give to my email list, right? If I think it's like, this is valuable right now, I'm going to send a link to my email list. I'm going to, you know, get that together and have, what my tech team is, I don't, but my tech team will put that together and send it out. So that's lots of ways to get one video, a lot more attention over a period of time. Uh, Lisa said, I had 5,000 friends for over two years, but I'm realistic that not all or many are seeing my posts. How do I break through that? Talk, and, talk to people in Messenger, number one. Also, um, stories. Start using stories. So I say like maybe five things a day, take a picture of. And then put it in your stories. Or whatever you post on your, on your, um, on your personal, put it in the stories. So if you start playing Facebook's game, they'll show your stuff to more people. Messenger is the first, what I would do is play lots in Messenger. Go in, how you doing? How you doing? How you doing? And then all of a sudden, those people are going to start seeing your stuff if you connect it with them. So I have a, a strategy for everybody if you want to do this. Um, it's going to take you a little time, but if you have time on your hands, why not? Go through over the next 26 days all your contacts, 26 days because it's 26 letters. So you might start with A and then B and then C and then D, for example. And you go and you look at all your A people and you just drop them a line. How you doing? How you getting through everything? You know, hey, how are you feeling with everything going on right now? And over the next 26 days, I guarantee you, if you do that every single day, just reach out and touch your people that are on your list. The way more people will start seeing your stuff and you'll build connections and who knows what magic will happen. So that's a strategy that does take work to, but I would say if you, if you mark off about an hour a day, cause think of it on date, like when you have X, you're not going to be doing much. So some days will be more than others. So say maybe an hour a day, reach out to all your people, A, B, C, D, E, and then those people will um, start to see your stuff more. On, it's really cool. And then if you do stories too, stories will capture people who don't scroll as much. Some people like stories and they just like to look at your stuff and you'll capture people there that you aren't capturing maybe elsewhere. So just more eyeballs. Um, how many people in 26 days? Well, it depends on uh, how many people are on your list. I mean, it just if you have 200 people or 2,000 or 200,000, <laughs> That would take a while. You may need to span it over, span it longer. Um, okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to see if I can promote. Okay, so I can't let everybody uh, on at once. I thought for some reason I could, or I haven't been able to figure it out maybe on this particular setup. I have a different setup for the other calls. So here's what I'm going to ask everybody to do. I would love to help some of you guys with strategy in terms of like, what do I do, Leela? How do I get clients or what do I post? Or whatever questions you have right now, you may need help with your pivot, with your offer or your social media strategy to sell it. Raise your hand. Okay, I've got a Q&A here. Um, Mary said, I'm working. So raise your hand if you want to come on live. And, and I'm going to just start from the top. I got Sally and then I've got Monica and then I got Mary. Um, so Mary up here said, I'm working on making a pivot since nurses are facing a new challenge to be focused on thriving during a pandemic. That's the paid Zoom, correct? Yeah, the paid Zoom has the Zoom to Facebook Live, Karen. They, I think they're offering maybe a special deal right now. So talk to Zoom. They might give it for less than they usually have. So Sally, I'm going to bring you out, honey. And I am going to ask you, what is your question? What question do you have? Can you hear me? I can hear you now, darling. Yes, yes, yes. Hi. Hi. 
um, what's your question? So I uh, just, as you were talking about pivots, um, I've been definitely slapped around by everything that's been going on lately. Um, and I'm being forced to pivot big time. Um, so I'm putting my classes online and I'm also doing virtual ergonomic coaching. Uh -huh. um, but these are two um, new products basically that haven't built any kind of following around. Um, do you think it's enough just to piggyback on what I already have or do I need to really be drawing specific attention to these new products through the general Facebook lives and things that I've been doing? I don't want to be too pushy about the new products, but I also want people to know that they're out there. Okay. Can I coach you? Yeah. Okay. The first thing I want to say is For those of you who feel like you might be too pushy, I could say don't feel that way, right? Here's what I'm gonna say instead. You will not be pushy if you're not attached to the outcome. It is only when we're attached to the outcome that we're pushy or not pushy enough. Okay. It's, I'm gonna show up and share my shit because it is good whether people want it or not. Okay. You like that? I'll help you in here with the second with the offers and stuff, but this is huge for social media. Like we have to be willing to show up, look ridiculous, be embarrassed because we, we, we know our own value so much that we can help people. Yeah. I think that's one of the, I think that's one of the pieces that took me a while to kind of figure out too was how you show up in a different way on different platforms. So, you know, it is you get, there's a lot more leniency basically on Facebook, right. Than there is say on LinkedIn or anything else. Um, and I forget sometimes that, you know, people are looking to really kind of get to know you as an individual and just know who you are personally on Facebook more than some of the other platforms. Yes. Would you agree with that? Yes. The number one compliment I get is I love how real you are, Leela. Mm -hmm. That's what people want. Can you imagine why right now? Yeah, because people want that. They want to build relationships. They want interaction with people. They want to um, know, else know people on their so they don't feel fake. isolated. Because everything else on their, on their screen is fake and they don't trust it. Right, right. That's what it is. This is a screen, you guys, that you can change the world with. I'm not yelling at you, Sally. I'm sorry. I'm just getting jazzed. That's okay. <laughs> I just really mean it because like we can show up and be the ones to shift things right now. Sally, you have the most beautiful accent. I would just watch you to listen to you, first of all. <laughs> <laughs> Let's start there. Second, I think if you care about people's posture and ergonomics, right now is the perfect time to show up and teach them. Teach them your best stuff. Teach them everything you know. They'll still buy your stuff. I would get on yeah. there every day and teach them stuff. All the yeah. pieces and parts that you know, every, all, all your best stuff, give it to them right now. And then you have, you know, it's how to this and the three steps to that and the one thing to avoid for that and the biggest mistake that. Mm -hmm. And then you have your products. I think your products feel in alignment with what people need right now. Cause like sitting down and, and walking around, like people who need help in their bodies. They're on the computer all the time, right? They're on their phones or they're not as mobile. Um, I think you're, you could be bringing tons of value. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it does. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good. I'm making lots and lots of notes. <laughs> yeah. And then I would say for everybody, maybe consider this moment in time, opening up to new ideas around offers. I mean, I have a bajillion ideas for you guys always, but you know, just think about it like this. Do, could I offer something to work with somebody just one-on-one -on -one privately? What would that be right now? It might look different than it did a month ago. What would that be right now? Could you do something? Could you do something that focused on a family? Could you do something that focused on um, maybe a group, right? Like we're in this group together. I, 
I'm, I actually am apologizing because I wanted everybody to see each other and um, I had my tech team set this up and it didn't set up quite right. But um, could you get some people together right now in a group? Is that the best way? So right mm -hmm. now you may need to shift your offers in the sense of maybe keep what you have and then listen and see, is there anything else that people would need right now that I could do? And I'm not too attached to my, all, what my offer has to be. It's like just serving what they need while staying integrity and not overworking, of course. Make sense? Yep. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sure. Totally. Monica, baby. Thanks for being here, Sally. I appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Appreciate you too. Monica, baby, what's your question? Yeah, uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, I did. I ha okay, first of all, real quick, you're going to make this available. Like my, one of my clients would love this. Yeah, totally. Okay, okay great. I'm going to send it to her whenever you have that link ready. Let Anybody who wants to. The, I mean, this is, we need to help people right now. So I'm like, yeah, let's be generous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, um, I am, you know, I'm like really show, I'm looking on showing up. You probably saw the, well, you probably be seeing some of that. Um, and I'm just not getting the engagement and I, and I know that you probably have some ideas around that. And I just wanted to ask like, yeah, how can I get more engagement and uh -huh. almost kind of do some market research, even with my personal page so I can begin you know, even building my email list because I, my email list is at a stall right now. Yes, I wouldn't, I, I mean, I'm going to be honest. I don't think building your email list is your number. I mean, can I just share that you and I are working, I mean, we're working together. So yeah. I don't think building your email list is your number one thing right now. I say, you know, we can work on that. Uh, I don't think that's the, I don't think people are as interested in just okay. the free stuff. The free stuff needs to lead to something else. Like I probably got people signing up on my email list for this free training I did live, right? So that's yeah. what I would do if you want to build your email list is do these, these kinds of things where you're doing free trainings live. But I'm going to tell you right now, Monica, I know exactly what, why you're not getting the engagement you want. We talked about it before and I'm going to give you a clue. Okay. So there's three areas of marketing on social media I mentioned was one a business right? Two is uh, um, conversation starting. And the third was what? Lifestyle videos. That's the space. That you, lifestyle. That's the space that you're, you're creating right now that hasn't been as strong. Yeah. And sometimes I feel like, how do I incorporate that? And it's so funny because I'm a con content creator. You think I will, this would be easy. Oh, it's like the mechanic. It's a hard time, you know, fixing their own car. It's totally cool. I got you, girl. So I have some ideas for you. I would love to hear them. <laughs> I saw your post. So if you guys, uh, Monica Miller, um, as she did a post and it was like the, the things that I'm learning right now. And it mm -hmm. was, you know, I think you put, put things about business, but you also put like a wing eyeliner. Yeah. You were learning. I've been trying to learn that for years. <laughs> Perfect. So what I'm going to say is take that list of things that you did, that you put up there and create more content around each one of those. So when you do the, I want to, you know, it's up to you if you want to do this, but you could create a video because this is not business oriented. This is not conversation starting. This is lifestyle. You could show them how you're, and you, you want to make the video a little bit longer and imperfect, not perfect at all. Like, okay. and because it's like, that's the lifestyle, you know, they'll relate to you. And, you know, maybe show them how you're learning how to do the wing eyeliner. I, I was thinking about doing something like that, but I wanted to kind of tone it business, but I can totally do it, just not business. I got two new clients from recently doing my makeup online. Oh. I'm not a makeup coach, you guys. Like, it's not about, people don't want to be sold to right now. They never really do. They want to connect. And how do they do that? by seeing the humanness, not just the business part of us. Everybody knows we have business because we show up and we share and we teach, right? And we're conversation starters and leaders, but it's really that lifestyle piece that makes you more interesting and they want in on your, on your, uh, on your business offerings then. 
so I could totally give them a makeup tutorial or how I'm putting on my makeup, even though <laughs> I'm still learning so much. Look at you. Look how fun this energy is. I can like, can you feel how youthful and joyous and vibrant you feel right now? Like just by talking about it? Yeah. And I was, yeah. Cause I was thinking, I'm like, Oh, I could like do like a makeup tutorial, but like, you know, Hey, using it as like almost like a content thing, but I'm like, you know, I could just skip that and just do it because it's fun. Yeah. And you could teach because you teach content, you could teach your people that they need to do the same and share some other things, you know, about themselves that, you know, are more, more personal. Now, what I want to tell everybody is you don't have to tell all your personal stuff. You guys don't know everything about all the things about my life. You can pick and choose what you share. It's not like you're being weird or not telling everything. It's just that you can't tell all the pieces and parts of yourself on the internet. It's just, there's no, there's just no way. There's, you're a very complex human. So that's why I say just choose maybe five things you like to talk about at first. And, and that's where you start. You know, maybe you want to talk about children's children or children's health or playgrounds or, you know, whatever it is that you're super passionate about. Wine, I think you like, um, some people like coffee or, or chocolate or, you know, be willing to show those pieces of you. I think this is going to be your, because I know you, Monica, and I love your personality and you're so fun and cool. And I like just hanging around you, you know, hung around you just as girls, right? Yeah. That piece of you makes me actually kind of cry. That's what people want to see right now. That girlfriend. Let's do this. Not the, I can do something business-wise. They know that, but they want to feel that like connection more. And it's going to come through the wing eyeliner. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Like Karen, if you're not friends with Karen, become friends with Karen. Like she does these photos with her, with like funny photos of toilet paper, right? Yes, I, we're, yeah, we're friends. Okay, yeah, and the cat Karen stuff. Like that's part of her lifestyle brand. Um, you know, the cat Karen memes aren't gonna get her, aren't saying how to massage or do fascia work or whatever, um, but it makes people wanna stay connected to her because she's um, got that kind of, you know, kind of like, that's my girl personality. You wanna bring that, whatever form that is of you to, um, the video and really what this is, and I can feel my like emotions welling up as I'm talking about it a little bit. It's your heart. It's like, bring your heart friends as much as you can. And you may need to practice and it'll take a little time. You'll feel embarrassed and weird, but I promise you, this is the, the connection that you might be missing. If, if social media is not working yet, it might be just this piece. Okay. Okay. All right. I'm going to bring out Mary. Was that helpful, honey? Yeah, it was. Thank you. All right, I'm excited to learn that wing eyeliner thing. I know, right? <laughs> Bye. Bye. All right, Mary, darling. So I saw your note about... Uh, Hi. Hi, Vid. How are you? I'm doing pretty well. My business has been helping nurses and burnout with job transitions. And right now there's a lot of hiring freezes because um, they are trying to keep, you know, Right now, they're trying to keep the money funneling towards a couple key areas. And so I'm trying to figure out my pivot and where I want to go. And sort of where I've been thinking about is managing stress right now um, with regards to our, um, like the nurses that are working, not just on the front lines, but mm -hmm. the ones that are also working remotely, which is completely new for a lot of them. I have an idea. Yeah. It's coming Talk through. Is there a Facebook group called Nurses Helping Nurses? Um, there, I have a group that I have called the Burnout Work Community. There's a bunch of nurse groups right now. And that's the other thing. I'm try, I try to share some of my content with some of them. And some of them are like, oh, you're self-promoting. And so I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah. So um, what are you, is your audience mainly nurses? Yes. Okay. I would, if I were you, I would create your own group called nurses helping mm -hmm. it doesn't have to be last forever um maybe it's nurses helping nurses in difficult times whatever you want to call it. i would just call it nurses helping nurses uh, maybe there's one out there maybe you don't want to call it that if there is let me know we can chat i'll give you i'll i'll, I'll do a little research for you and figure something out i'll help you okay but right now what i would do is i would create 
I would probably create some sort of membership where they came to like a, and I don't know how often you want to do this. Maybe it's like for the next six weeks, you sell something and you're like, for the next six weeks, I'm going to give you guys support. And if we need to go beyond that, we can. Because right now you're going to have a slew of nurses. Yeah. So right now my group, I got 80 new people in my group that I have that's free. Okay. Um, and, and in that, the past week. <laughs> okay. So you could probably just use that group then. Mm -hmm. um, so I would find, yeah, I would, I would probably create from that group and from your personal page. How does it feel right now? Do you have a lot of time and extra space to do, to create something? I want to be open to it. Be open to it. I mean, what if right now your first step was getting them into like a weekly call, a weekly support call in a group mm -hmm. and you charged, you know, maybe, I don't know what you want to charge, but maybe for four to six weeks, you charge like 97 bucks or 197 bucks. Like it's a low end start, right? And then, and then what you do with some of those people and even your people who aren't in, in the paid, you have maybe a lower in group thing. And then some of those people you can work with privately. You're like, now for those of you, if there's anybody in this group who wants, you know, to talk to me and work with me privately needs help, let me know. Or if you want my, and you have a, do you have a course together already created? I already do have a six month course called the um, Unbreakable Nurse Society mm -hmm. intensive that I run for people. And I am sort of still in the beginning phases of building up a lot of my audience too. So help. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I mean, what I would do is I think your entry point, if you want to, is, you know, have the free, you got the free group right now, then mm -hmm. you're, some of those people will, um, you could get into a low price. Maybe it's not 97, maybe it's 20 bucks. I don't know what your price point is right now. We'd have to look at all your stuff, but mm -hmm. whatever a low price point where they get, and what you're going to do is this group needs to have results outcome it's not just support it's like if you come to the group for the next four to six weeks whatever long it is at the end of it you can expect to be here and that'll be different from where you are here so you want to think like how could i get people in a group for a few weeks maybe it's three weeks however many weeks and get them some results around what i would assume is lowering stress right now what your expertise is yeah yeah well, basically helping with resiliency is my general support, is my general um, practice that I've built. And I have a tool that I utilize with people. So you're saying maybe doing like a six week pop up? Yeah, for, for just for now where we are. And can I, can I coach you a little bit here? Of course. I have a feeling that nobody's laying in bed and going, I wish I had more resiliency. They're yeah. Going, I wish I wasn't so stressed out right now. I'm so stressed out. So I hear you with the resiliency piece, but if we were to really hone in on the things that people say, let's speak their language right now and serve them mm -hmm. and not our thing. That's my advice. You do what you want, honey. I'm not trying to give you, like tell you what to do in your business. Oh, no, I totally agree right. with you about the resiliency. Like, I, I mean, my end goal that I've been working with people is resiliency, but you're right. It's not really, and no one says like, I want more resiliency in my life. No, this, this is actually probably one of the best pieces of advice. I, I should have actually given this at the beginning of the call. I hope people are still on. It's, uh, the best stuff sometimes comes at the end of the call. Uh, Ari, I've got you coming up too. And anybody else who wants to talk to me privately, I will stay on as long as you need. Um, uh, and Mary, if you have anything else too, before I tell this other little tip, do you mm -hmm. have any other? No, I don't have. Uh, well, I think basically what I, is like the six week pop up thing and then base, and I normally charge $500 for my group and then um, $375 a month or $2,000 for six months of coaching. Uh -huh. So it would be a very low, it would be a very low offer entry point. Yeah, it's gonna be, so it's up to you. I'm not telling anybody to go low because you know I'm a high end girl over here. I'm like, sell yeah. high, sell high, sell high. What I, that's why I was like, do you have time and you wanna create something new? Um, you know, I would still focus on, reaching out, selling your high-end stuff, go high, sell that stuff. But in terms of social media marketing, if you're trying to sell that stuff and it's not working, mm -hmm. let's get you in some people 
So they have access to Mary. Oh, Mary's cool. I like working with Mary. What is it like to be with her? Oh, this group is cool. Let's, you know, and then um, they'll want to pay you. Maybe they'll not trust yet to pay you the two grand if they don't know you, but maybe they'll pay you a hundred bucks. You know? Yeah. So it's not, it's not even to make a bunch of money. Even it's lead generation. It's trust. And this is what I've done in social media. Um, and that's why what's neat too, friends, is if you create that, and this is what I'm going to suggest, Mary, create it in a way where you, you could, um, some of it or all of it, it depends, you could sell it later as an online course. Mm. So you create a $97 thing, maybe you get five women in it, 500 bucks, boom. You do something for the next six weeks, maybe it's not that much money, you do a lot of work, you're like, wow. But over the next uh, one, two, three, five years, you could sell that online course. Uh, if anybody drop me a line in Facebook messenger, I have a little training on the flash sale offer. Like that's th what this is. It's just, it's almost like black Friday sale right now. This option. Okay. So, and what you're recommending is basically for this offer, some make it around stress. Yeah. Oh, oh, um, yes. And this is the piece that I'm going to give everybody. So one of the best pieces of advice of the whole day, I think, is when you're teaching people stuff, they've got three, here's what people want. They want three things. These three things are the 3D, the outer world things. Many of us in this group, me included, teach inner stuff, how to breathe, how to be present, how to not be stressed. So all of that stuff's important, the inner game. We know it's the most important. We're all in, high five. Whew. Put it aside, link it to the outer stuff. Here's the three things. People want to be fit, which means they want to be healthy or look good, feel good, you know, fit. Whatever that means to them. They want to be rich and they want to be in love. <laughs> so they want health, wealth, relationships. So you are not selling confidence. You're not selling clarity. You're not selling self-care you're not selling self-love you're not selling any of that all of that stuff is a gateway to becoming fit rich and in love which health wealth relationships that's primarily the, one of the biggest mistakes i see people doing in their marketing they're not talking about the outer end result the outcome so what i would do mary is so cool i would say you know this program is for you to learn how to reduce stress and whatever other language you have, reduce stress, blah, 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 so that you can stay healthy in your body. You can figure out the, the right path to create wealth for you and your family so that you can have amazing relationships as we go through these times. You see? Mm. That's the struggle we're working with here, friends. It's health fears, wealth fears relationship fears and relationship is lonely or I don't like the people I'm around. I can't get along with them. One of the two. I don't have people or the ones I have, I don't like, or there's an issue or they've got problem. I don't know how to help them. So this is, I hope this is helpful. This little piece that I just gave, let me know in the chat if it's yes. helpful. Is this helpful for you, Mary? Yes, it is. I think this has been, so I'm just now need to work on a creating a title for it. So that way it's really catchy. Yeah, people. and, and what I was saying, go ahead. Yeah, tell me. No, tell me. I was like, I'm trying to think how do you fit rich and in love? I don't know how to put those in the title or if they need to go in the title. Yeah, this is great. So the fit rich and in love is my language. It works for me. I got some New York roots. I can get, I can get away with some really kind of raw stuff. It ain't going to work for everybody. Right. <laughs> it's so all good. It's yeah. Yeah. So here's the deal. What you actually, every single person in this group needs to do, they need to find out what, find out what the problems are of your people and use their language. My mastermind is called the business up level program. Not because I came up with the name, but people kept coming up to me and going, Leela, I'm talking, it's time to up level. I'm ready. I'm ready to up level. I'm like, what's this up level word? So I just started using it and then people signed up, but it was like, I listened. So your nurses are saying things. Yeah. Let's capture it and then turn a program into helping them with it. The only reason I'm here today on this call and help giving you this, this training was because I was on a call with Thomas this week and I heard a number of people worried about social media and stuff. And I thought, 
well, there you go. Social media strategy Saturday. Yeah. One thing that a lot of my client, a lot of my clients and the things I hear is they want to help out, but, and they want to feel like they matter and they're very scared about, you know, okay. They're very scared about like a surge of patient, like, like how to um, survive the surge, maybe how to be in service to your people, to your, whatever they call them, how to serve your people. Like I just watched a video today from a nurse and I about cried. Um, yeah. And, and she was, the first thing she said was, you know, I want to serve my patients. I want to, you know, serve the people. So if service is a big worry, I want, how do I serve and not die? How do I serve and, and not stress out? How to, how to be in service and not stress out? That's pretty cool. Yeah. What do you think about like surviving the surge? Nobody wants to survive right now. Everybody feels like they're already in survival. I think it's, okay. I don't like the idea of like surviving right now because we already feel like we barely can find toilet paper. So yeah. I would actually make it more about stress than survival. Hmm. Yeah. So how to serve your patients and not be stressed out. Yeah. Well, what, it's like how to be a stress-free nurse or how to like, you know, be your best possible nurse, you know, how to be the best possible nurse even when, even in times of stress. Okay. So what I would suggest is create like, um, I always tell people create maybe four talk t- or four um, uh, titles and then read them out loud to yourself and some people that resonate with you and see what comes up the best. Cause we come up with group program names all the time and, and then we tell them to people and it falls flat. <laughs> mm-hmm. I do it all the time. So we could sit here and pontificate and think about it's it and go on and on. You know what I mean? But, but yeah, totally. Like, let's go to your people and just like listen to them. Like today, I probably would have come up with a different name if I didn't listen to you guys on, you know, this week. I was like social media. Gotcha. Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, boo. Is that, is that good? Helpful? Yes, this has been very helpful. Thank you. Totally. Totally. I'm going to bring out Ari now. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm doing all right. How are you? Happy to be here. That's a good question. Are you there? Yeah, how do I get the video on? Um, I don't know. Nobody's been on video. Hmm. Okay. I don't know. I think, like I said, my tech team set this call up and they, the way the settings were, I don't think were set up quite where the video would come on for some reason. Gotcha. Um, I think it was set up on the back end when it was originally scheduled um, and I don't have the buttons to control it. So my question is about technology and some of the technical um, skills. So like I want to do my, my I want to get my book out more. And, um, and I was thinking that a good way of doing that would be to read the book online while I'm doing a video call, but I'm not really sure how to do that. <laughs> yeah. I love this idea. What's your book about? Called a new tomorrow, how to activate yourself, your vision for a better world. So it's about, um, things like critical thinking, common sense, uh, it's basically for the healthcare industry, but it's really about how to live your, you know, your passion and be activated in the community, being an activist for your profession. So for example, if you're a doctor or a professional and you see things that are happening that are not um, the way you know that they should be, then it, it's incumbent upon you to be an activist, to be loud and change the way they're doing things. So, you know, there's, I don't know how many, not very many that I've seen doctors who have said, no, this virus is not a live virus. It's a fat. Well, let's not, let's not get into it. I don't want right. to go there. All right. right. I love I'm just saying that that's kind of the, the basics of it, how to be activated in the world. Okay. Um, so what I would do is, um, how do you, is, how's your cell phone? 
in terms of uh, the camera quality and all that? Probably pretty good, right? It's a, you know, older iPhone. Okay. So either your, it, it might still be great because these cell phone cameras are like phenomenal. Um, so if it's not good, I'll tell you what to get here in a second. But um, uh, your cell phone camera, I would set it, I would just set your cell phone up and record on Facebook Live. And I would read the book and I would chunk it up into, I'd probably read for about like 20 minutes at least, minimum, every time. Okay. Um, and I would set it up. Here's a piece of advice for everybody in case you haven't seen some of the videos I've been doing. If you have it, your videos, make sure you only have, like I'm actually a little bit, was a little bit too close here, but about two to three fingers above your head. Because if you're too low, you look like a little bobblehead down here and you look real, it actually diminishes your power in the video. And so you want to take up the whole space as much as possible. So you only have just barely teeny bit above your head. Put yourself in the middle. Now, right now, you could get some lights, some box lights, some ring lights. But right now, um, I have this uh, beautiful, like these huge windows. Natural light's actually the best light um, on your face. Like I could have better lighting even, but really just sit in front of a window, uh, put your camera up, read your book. And then the, the one thing, Aria, is when you're talking to people, you're gonna wanna say, you know, like at the beginning, maybe the middle, the end, or maybe just the beginning and the end, you'll find your flow but you'll want to make sure to say, um, and if you guys want a copy of my book, you're not going to want to say buy it. You're going to say, send me a message because it's actually more valuable to some people to be connected to the author than it is to have the book. So having the book is one thing, but having the book and connected to the author is a whole nother level of intimacy. So you wouldn't do like a screen share of having the PDF of the book, for instance, a uh, little window of me. So show, you know, I guess it, um, it's up to you. Maybe test it out. Do it both ways and see what you like. And we can kind of look at it too. My thought here is almost like story time with you, you know? like created a real nice time of the day where you could kind of sit there and read it, you know, it's like read it to them as, as if it's kind of like story time with you. I think that would be really nice right now. Um, I don't think, I don't know. I mean, I guess I would ask, you know, maybe ask the group what they think here, but I'm not sure if people, I, I'm thinking about myself, but there might be others. I don't think I would actually sit there and read it on the screen. I think I would listen to you from the video, but I don't think I would read it. I don't think it'd be something I'd enjoy even. Cause most of the time it's like on the phone. It's not even on the computer. So it's gonna be pretty small. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes sense. That's my thought, but you might want to test it out. And see what, see if, you know, if you do both and maybe you get more views on one or the other. Okay. Is that helpful? Do you, do you need any more, do you have any other tech questions? Um, tech questions for things like uh, how to create landing page for the book. Like my, my thought was to read the book and it's kind of like a workbook in a sense because I ask a lot of questions about them and what they can do to activate themselves. And so I was thinking about creating a course around it at some point. And that some point is going to be sooner since we're in this situation. So, um, yeah, I love it. I think it's a great idea. Um, you know, I'll be honest with you. Landing pages aren't my expertise. I have a tech team who does all that kind of stuff for me. Um, what I will say is, uh, there might be, a, there's probably resources with achieve. Are you part, you're part of achieve? Um, there might be resources there too, I would imagine to help with that. Um, Vanessa said, contact Thomas about landing pages. Cool. We've got someone for you. Um, you know, Thomas, right? Right. Is that helpful? Yep. Actually. And now that I think about it, cause I just saw one that was done with, okay. Uh, I think for achieve and it was really beautiful, really beautiful. I think, and they've got some that are tested out as well. 
because ideally the one thing I know about landing pages is you want to have one that like looks good. It looks decent. So it converts. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and I'll give you an idea right now. Like if for some reason you don't have your landing page and all the tech stuff together, uh, as long as you have a way to take money, you can still take money, you know, call them up and get their credit card info or get a PayPal link or something. And you can still have transactional re relationships with people without having any sort of landing page or anything done where they have to link and click themselves. If I were you, even if it's just, you know, your book, get on the phone and just sell it to them. Cause if you're on the phone and selling them your book, they're more likely to buy your program too down the road. Okay. Uh -huh. so, so should I send them to Amazon? For your book? Yeah. Is that where your book, they buy it? Yes, they could buy it on Amazon. Oh yeah, totally. I mean, if it's on Amazon, yeah. I would say if you guys want, to know more about how to uh, get my book, send me a message. And then they send you a message. I want to know how to get your book. And you're like, oh, okay, here, cool. Here's the link. I wouldn't okay. send them on the, vi you can say it's on Amazon if you want, but what I would do is really with your video marketing, I would, I would get people to messenger and then in messenger send the link. Okay. I'm Thank excited to hear story time. Thank you. This would be really cool. Um, your videos will show you also what part of your book that you read that people like a lot and maybe it'll help you with your new program. Okay. Mm -hmm. like if you get, how, does that, how does that work? How, how would it show me which part? Yeah, like if you get, say you do a series of videos and there's one video that's like really popular because of the topic. That, would, that might be the area in which you do your program you dive deeper for your online program. So these video marketing in terms of like, it's also research because you'll start to notice you'll put stuff out, put stuff out, nothing hits, nothing hits. And then boom, something hits. And everybody's on, you know, you got a hundred comments or 50 people or, you know, people talking on the same thread for a week. And so you start to, in your mind as a, as a you know, researcher for your business, you realize what people care more about. As the expert, we have a lot of expertise we care about, but not everybody cares about all of our stuff. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Let me know if you need any help. I'm here for you. Okay. Anybody? Oh, I've got a couple questions here I'm going to answer. Um, what range is considered low end and medium end? Jennifer asked, what range like of offers low end medium? It depends on your business, honey. I don't know what your business is. What I would say, you know, low end might be 97 bucks right now, a high end, or maybe 27 bucks, depending on what you're doing, membership. Uh, uh, a high end could be $100,000. You know, it just depends. A medium could be 2,000, it could be 50,000. <laughs> it just depends on your business model. So, um, you know, just kind of know what, where you are, what your high, medium, you know, low is. and, and how do you know you're high? Well, what I say as a business coach is how much can you receive at one time? How much do you believe you can receive at one time? That should be your high. That should be your high offer. Go as high as you can, have one, and then you can have a medium and a low. Um, so uh, Jennifer said, I'd like to launch a new online course. What do you recommend how to start? What I say is um, launch it, uh, promote it, and get people enrolled, get paid, and then record it. So don't record a bunch of videos and then try to sell it right now, uh, especially if you're just starting online courses. It's sell it, then record it with them live. Um, and so ideally for an online course, it's usually like six weeks, six sessions or less around there, just depends, maybe eight, but usually three to eight sessions is an online course. Um, what's nice about when you launch it and do it live, more people will show up and do it. A lot of people don't finish online courses. And so it's really used as a lead generation for higher end stuff, um, unless you have big audiences to sell it to. So it just depends. What was the name of the free course you were offering about 15, 20 minutes ago? So that's actually, um, let me find it and then I will, uh, put it in the chat. And, um, and then I'm also going to put it in the achieve. Actually, it might take me a minute to do that because um, I have to go through a couple things. So 
I'll put it in the achieve um, comments from this event and it's called a flash sale training and what it teaches you is basically how to put out something quick like a Black Friday sale and you want to focus on what are the results you're going to get like I said fit richer in love and whatever your words are health wealth relationships um, some sort of end result around that and you're going to take them through a stepwise process step one step two step three step four to get that end result and so usually a program like that is anywhere from like 97 to 497 um, depending on your audience your you know what you do and all of that um, so uh, and then like I said I will put that in the group anybody else have questions raise your hand if you want to come on um, let me check one more any more questions here I got a couple chat boxes it doesn't look like it. Thank you for staying on later than the hour. Um, to stay in touch with your loved ones, uh, stay in touch with Achieve as much as you can, plug into the calls. My schedule's being rearranged a little so I can plug in more. Um, and show up for people, you know? Like, um, I know it's scary for some of you who are just going online. And so I really wanna honor where you are. Like when I first started, it was so hard. and and let's just be real. Like some of you might face haters. People are going to tell you not to do stuff or you're doing it wrong. And we're here for you. I believe in you. We believe in you. And so if that happens, just reach out. Like, no, you might need to get some extra support and cheerleading right now. And that's why we're here. And if you need extra support from me, coaching courses, anything, learning stuff about business body stuff right now, uh, I'm here for you. I also have a referral program. If you refer people to me, um, you know, I give you money back. I'm doing a percentage of my uh, revenue right now to uh, the co-op here so we can help feed more low-income children in the city. There's a ton. Uh, so I'm working on that if you guys um, want to support food in Denver. But I know you guys got a lot going on. But if you want, that's what I've got going on uh, volunteer-wise. So I love you. Um, Vanessa said you're amazing. We appreciate you. Thank you, baby. Thank you so much for this opportunity to share with the community. Lisa, great Zoom, lots of value. Thank you. I'll see you guys soon. Have a really great weekend and, and um, just be a blessing. Be a blessing to every, everything you touch. Okay, bye.